Hi, uh, today in this video we will see a topic that comes under pregnancy that is known as diagnosis of pregnancy. So uh, pregnancy if you see there will be a lots of uh, physiological, anatomical and uh, psychological changes that takes place in the pregnant women. Uh, after conception the carrying fetus or embryo in a uterus uh, before uh, labor or the onset of labor that is considered as a pregnancy. Uh, if you see the pregnancy, the duration of pregnancy, if you calculated uh, previously as a uh, lunar month, okay, uh, 10 months we can tell or 9 months plus 7 day from the last menstrual period and we can tell as a gestational week of uh, 40 weeks of gestation or 280 days. So, this uh, is the duration of the pregnancy and pregnancy can be divided into uh, trimester. Trimester means each trimester is calculated as 3 months. Okay, like that if you see pregnancy, 3 trimesters are there. In the trimester, first trimester, second trimester and third trimester. First trimester is a 0 or 5, uh, 1 to uh, 12th week of gestation, second trimester uh, 13 to 28 week of gestation, third trimester 29 to 40 weeks of gestation. So during this pregnancy period there is a lot of uh, physiological changes will take place in you know, pregnant women. As a result what happened they will go with uh, uh, different signs and symptoms. So this signs and symptoms we can coin and we can confirm this uh, uh, as a pregnancy that is known as the diagnosis of pregnancy. So for before going with each trimester what are the signs and symptoms, we will see what are the signs of pregnancy. Signs of pregnancy can be generally classified as presumptive sign, probable sign and positive sign. What is presumptive sign? Presumptive sign is a early sign of pregnancy. Uh, we can confirm pregnancy this, but this is not the confirmation of pregnancy. So presumptive sign if you see the women will have amenorrhea, morning sickness, uh, bladder irritability, uh, fatigue will be there, uh, 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 breast changes will be there, uh, they will have uh, uh, features of uh, 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 skin changes also will be there. And next one is probable sign, probable sign if you see uh, they have like a pelvic changes uh, uh, such as a jacomia sign, oceander sign, uh, then next hagar sign, palmar sign, uh, goodle sign and uh, uh, the women uh, uh, can go with uh, assessment of uh, HCG presence in the blood and the urine. So this uh, probable sign also we cannot confirm the pregnancy. Uh, for an example, if HCG we are taking, this is uh, uh, present for ectopic pregnancy also and this is uh, present for hydradiform mole also. So that we cannot confirm this is uh, a pregnancy test. Then uh, last one is positive sign of pregnancy. Positive sign of pregnancy uh, we can uh, tell as uh, confirm, completely we can confirm this is pregnancy. So like that uh, if you see was, first one is ultrasonography. So early itself we can go with a transvaginal or transabdominal ultrasonography. Uh, then next one is fetal uh, movement then fetal palpation, fundal height measurement and fetal palpation, lie presentation, everything and uh, uh, hearing the auscultating, uh, uh, hearing the FHR and FHS uh, uh, sound. Hai na? So these are the uh, major uh, uh, points we can see the confirmation of pregnancy. So we, we have seen about presumptive sign, probable sign and positive sign. So then next we will see uh, each trimester what are the signs and symptoms, how we can diagnose the pregnancy. So first trimester if you see uh, that is uh, uh, subjective symptoms or the presumptive symptoms, mod mother will tell. First one is amenorrhea. So amenorrhea if you see this is the uh, as a reproductive woman if any missed period is there, uh, regular uh, cycle if they have of uh, 28 day of cycle, if there is having a missed period we can confirm uh, one of the pregnancies uh, that is the uh, absence or missing of the menstruation. Uh, so here one uh, 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 one case the women can go with implantation bleeding. So where, when the embryo is nicely attached to the uterine wall, small uh, uh, bloody discharge can be visible through the vagina. So that is known as implantation bleeding. Second one is nausea and vomiting that is known as the morning sickness. So early uh, awakening time from the bed they can go with the nausea and the vomiting. This is due to the hormone known as human chorionic gonadotrophic hormone and third one is bladder irritability that is the uh, uh, development of the uterus this will uh, compresses the bladder or uh, 
they can go with more blood supply uh, in the bladder regions as a result they women can go with bladder irritability or maturation symptoms and breast changes like uh, premenstrual symptoms pingling, uh, tingling pricking sensation in the breast or uh, like that the women can get and fatigue fatigue due to the increased uh, blood supply to the uterus and the growth of the fetus they can women can get fatigue so these are the uh, subjective symptoms what the women will tell then next one is objective signs objective symptoms if you see uh, we can uh, find out the breast changes breast if you see uh, size of the breast will be increases primary areola are prominent of uh, monoberries uh, uh, tubercle will be uh, present and uh, next one is uh, uh, if you uh, go with uh, uh, changes of the uh, pelvis pelvis means uh, so many uh, vaginal changes will be there because of increased vascularity so the if there is a bluish discolorization in the vaginal mucosa then it is known as the jacomia sign if there is a, a huge of uh, bluish uh, uh, or purplish uh, discolorization in the vestibule uh, that is on the clitoris vagina or the cervix then it is known as the chadwick sign then softening of the cervix is known as the uh, goodle sign and uh, we can go with elicitation of uh, two signs that is uh, hagar sign and the palmar sign hagar sign opposition of uh, two fingers uh, uh, from the abdomen and the vagina during the bimanual examination because the growth of the fetus will take place upper part of the uterus not in the lower part so opposition of fingers can be done in the bimanual examination the next one is uh, uh, palmar sign that is the uh, contraction that takes place uh, uh, when we are doing the vaginal uh, uh, examination that is bimanual examination so these procedures are nowadays much not used in uh, because this can go with the uh, abortion uh, uh, process for the women and uh, uh, next you see uh, uh, next uh, symptom is you see growth of the uh, uterus that we can assess in the abdomen M much growth will not take place in the early trimester so if you see palpation uh, the uterus will be placed in the uh, symphysis pubis at the 12th week of gestation and uh, size uh, uh, shape and uh, uh, consistency consistency if you see soft and uh, uh, soft will be there uh, for the uterus and uh, size if you see in the early trimester uh, uh, first it will uh, uh, form like a egg shell uh, in the sixth week then it, it uh, then it will go like a, a cricket ball at the eighth week and at the twelfth week as a fetal head and if you, it will be changed like piriform to globular uh, shape of uh, structure and here we can see a, P a Picasso's uh, sign that is uh, lateral implantation of the uh, embryo will leads to asymmetrical growth both of the uh, uterus so the, these are the uh, main uh, changes uh, we can see in the uterus then next uh, one is uh, uh, hcg uh, test so hcg test in the early trimester uh, they can go with uh, uh, urine and uh, uh, blood test uh, so here uh, direct agglutination uh, uh, test immunological test uh, without a radio isotope uh, another one is uh, with uh, immunoassay can be done and uh, in that uh, first method uh, consists of uh, uh, if you see uh, uh, direct agglutination test is there uh, card test is there enzyme linked immunosorbent assay is there fluorescent immunoassay is there then next immunoassay uh, radio isotope uh, uh, test also available so this we can dictate in the uh, presence of hcg in the urine or in the blood so that also confirmation of the pregnancy another one is a positive uh, test that is uh, known as in first trimester ultrasonography in the ultrasonography transvaginal method or trans abdominal method we can see in the trans uh, uh, vaginal or abdominal method we can visualize uh, whether the gestational sac is present uh, whether the fetal pole is present whether cardiac uh, movement is there that is happen in the fifth week uh, how, how the development of the uh, fetus so these uh, everything can be assessed in the early trimester that is the first trimester the next we will go with the second trimester second trimester again subjective symptoms if you see all the first trimester symptoms can be continued some women's nausea vomiting desin will be there some women bladder irritability also will not will be there because the uterus is growing from the pelvic region into the abdominal region so lower uh, symptoms will be uh, decreased objective symptoms uh, if you see uh, breast assessment uh, so they will be size and symmetry of the breast will be increased secondary areolar development will be there and uh, if you see the monoberry tubercle will be more prominent they can be go with uh, uh, colostrum also expression that is a thick yellow uh, fluid some women it can be expressed then next if you see the abdominal uh, examinations uh, 
uh, they can go with the Braxton Hicks contraction, irregular, uh, infrequent uterine contractions can be uh, present for the uh, women. And uh, we can go with the uh, auscultation and find out uh, uh, FHR for the fetus, uh, fetal heart sound can be assessed. Uh, quickening will be there, uh, 18th week, uh, the quickening uh, process can be happen and 20 week uh, nicely, the women can feel like some life is there in the uh, uterus uh, cavity. And general uh, symptoms, if you see cholesma, that is a mask of the pregnancy, butterfly shape that is present over the nasal bridge or the cheese can be present. And uh, in the abdomen, uh, the skin changes like linea nigra, that is a dark line starts from the uh, symphysis pubis to the umbilical or the syphilis sternum, hair or without hair can be present. Stria gravida, a stretching mark that is present present on the lower abdomen because of the stretching of the collagen fibers. So this can be uh, seen in the abdomen. And if you see the fundal height, uh, uh, palpation we can identify uh, growth of the uh, fetus. So if you see uh, 12th week I told no, it will be present in the symphysis pub uh, uh, pubis. Uh, then next 16th week 2.5 centimeter above the symphysis pubis. 18th week uh, uh, 5 centimeter above the symphysis pubis. Uh, 20th week 2.5 centimeter below the umbilicus. 24th week at the level of the umbilicus, 28th week 2.5 above the uh, umbilicus. So these are the fundal uh, growth uh, we can see and uh, external bellowment can be identified. So movement that is a tossing like a ball, if adequate uh, uh, amniotic fluid is there, one hand can be placed on the one side of the uterus, push the fetus, the fetus will be move and touch the other hand of the fetus, uh, other hand of the uh, observer. So this is known as the uh, bellowment of the fetus. Then next vagina examination all the vaginal uh, changes will be there due to the increased uh, vascularities that is the jacomia or and all can be uh, identified. Uh, then next if you see here also we can go with the internal uh, bellowment, internal uh, bellowment moving the uh, uh, fetus uh, with our finger, fingertip uh, we can find out uh, which part of the fetus and when we are pushing uh, one hand we can place on the abdomen uh, th that uh, fetus will be moved and touched in the other hand. So internal bellowment can also be uh, assessed. So here in the second trimester also as a confirmation uh, ultrasonography is there. In the ultrasonography positive uh, sign, uh, here we can go with the growth of the fetus, how the fetal growth uh, is there, uh, abdominal circumferences, chest circumferences, uh, 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 how the fetal and uh, limb the, uh, measurement is there, any gross uh, congenital anomalies uh, for the fetus is there, what is the fetal heart rate, what is the fetal movement, so everything can be assessed, how, what is the placental site, how the placenta is implanted, how the blood supply is there, everything can be assessed in the ultrasonography, MRI can be also taken. Then uh, next one is third trimester, third trimester uh, it is a crucial period because a very fast growth of the uh, fetus will be takes place, growth and development of the fetus. So in the subjective uh, symptoms uh, again uh, the women can go with more uh, bladder irritability, maturation because the gravid uterus uh, pushes the pelvic regions uh, and pressure symptoms like uh, rectus fullness uh, uh, like that uh, pelvic uh, pressure symptoms the women can get in the uh, later trimester and the respiratory general assessment if you see uh, dyspnea problem because of uh, uh, big abdomens, uh, shortness of breath can be uh, happen for the women. And breast changes, breast size and uh, uh, symmetry will be increased or primary, secondary, uh, areola, mandibular tubercle will be prominent and a thick secretion of cholesterol can be expressed. And uh, if you see in the abdomen, uh, abdominal uh, growth will be there. Uh, if you see how, uh, how we can measure like uh, uh, 32 weeks, uh, it will be uh, midway, halfway between the NC form and the umbilicus, okay, lower uh, third. And uh, in the 36 weeks, it is uh, come down to the, uh, it will go to the uh, NC form cartilage. And in the 40 weeks, lightening will happen. Lightening that is a dropping of the fetus or mother will feel like a light of the abdomen or shelving of the uh, fetus will take place. Here, uh, if you see in the 40 weeks of gestation, uh, the height will be dropped to the level of the 32 weeks of gestation. Uh, so the mother will be relieved of uh, so many uh, uh, respiratory discomfort. So here, uh, if uh, floating of head is there, no engagement is there. Uh, if bellowment of head is not there, engagement has accomplished. So if we are measuring the fundal height, minor plus, uh, plus or minus, uh, 2 centimeter variation will be there. Uh, at the term, we can see 34.5 to 37 centimeter uh, fundal height will be there. Then other method like uh, uh, we can assess the uh, 
palpation and find out the lie presentation position of the feet, uh, fetus uh, then quickening of the fetus auscultation and find out the fetal heart sound and heart rate 110 to 160 uh, beats per minute and uterine shuffle uh, fetal shuffle can be monitored uh, Braxton Hicks uh, contraction will be continued for the uh, women and uh, in the positive uh, signs uh, we can go with uh, confirmation like ultrasonography ultrasonography we can find out uh, the complete development of the fetus about the placental site any uh, anomalies is there for the uh, fetus uh, any distress is there for the fetus then next any gross uh, uh, abnormality scan is there means we can do uh, in the uh, scan Doppler velocities also we can identify in the uh, later uh, trimester so these are the uh, signs and symptoms and uh, diagnosis that comes under the uh, pregnancy so today in this video we have seen about uh, what is uh, uh, pregnancy what are the trimesters that comes under the pregnancy uh, what is diagnosis of the pregnancy what are the signs uh, uh, that is presumptive sign, probable sign and positive signs then we have discussed uh, detail about each trimester how we are diagnosing the uh, pregnancy in a pregnant woman uh, so uh, bye bye uh, next video we will meet again